<laughs> We're heading over. Uh, morning, to, Mike. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Yeah. We're heading over to the Bico Kitchen. Here we are. And what have we got today? Right, we're doing Mexican today. So I've got this beautiful uh, marinated pork fillet there. And we're going to make tacos. So we've got a little salad as well. Yum. And uh, we've got some guacamole. Nice, it looks so fresh and vibrant, I'm excited. It is, look at all the colours, all the colours, all the different chilies in there as well, it's going to be spicy again. All of, and I, speaking of spicy, I, I never got the chance to say this at the end of yesterday's show because I, I just wanted to wait, but yesterday's meal, so delicious. It was Thank great, you. wasn't it? It was A little awesome. bit of spice, but, yeah. but fragrant and full of flavour, try it at home. Try it at home, try this one at home, you got all weekend to do it, great way to round off your Friday, it's looking delicious, it's going to taste even better. Thanks for joining us in the Beko Kitchen where Mark's got Mexican marinated pork tenderloin on the menu, this looks fantastic, how are you anyway, are you good? Yep, all good, nice. all good. Is this going to be good? This is going to be absolutely fantastic. Nice. You know, look at the yeah, look, look at the at colours it. and the flavours and the ingredients here. You know, this is going to be great. Okay, I'm, so should I try and identify some? This yes. is a good game, isn't it? Cabbage. Yes. Corn. Yes. Orange. Yes. Spring onion, avocado. Yes. What is that? Is that gherkin? Nope. Oh, I don't know what that is. It looks chili. weird. Chili. Oh, is that chili? Yes, yeah, so it's a green chili, serrano. Okay, cool. We've got the pork. Yep. And then some tomato paste. Yep. Brown sugar. Yep. Cumin seeds. Yep. And prunes? No. Mm, no. No. Chipotle chilies. <laughs> more ah, chilies. more chilies. Okay, good. Well, see, I'm learning stuff. Yeah, it's taking two and a half years, I'm getting there. Yeah, <laughs> you did quite well then. Thank you. Right, so we're going to marinate the pork. Yep. But instead of just putting uh, ingredients in a bowl and marinate it cold, we're actually going to cook the marinade and then it's going to act, it's going to do two things. It's going to yeah. flavour the pork mm -hmm. uh, and then we're going to reduce it down and we're going to glaze the pork with it to get extra flavour in there. Okay, cool. So that's, that's what we're going to make first. Probably save you a bit of time too, won't it? Yeah. You don't have to leave it sitting in the marinade overnight. Okay, cool. Right. Onions. Onions, garlic's in there. Yep. There's a spoon, you can stir it. Thank you. We'll give it a little bit of a, a season. Putting me to work already. Oh yeah, so she's a busy recipe today. Right, so you want to soften these down. Obviously if you do it at home, you can spend a little bit more time in the stages. Probably want it to be about, you know, five, six, seven minutes over a medium heat just to soften and bring out all those flavours. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to start adding a few more things. We've got some uh, smoked paprika as well. Mm -hmm. So this is a sweet one, so we're not looking for some, um, you know, extra heat from this because we have got all our different chilies. Well, that smells you okay nice. okay there? Yeah, no. <laughs> onions, onions are making me tear up a little. But, you know, it's the weekend, Mark, and it's two days without you. That gets oh, me oh. upset. <laughs> um, so are, are you heading to the Wild Food Yeah, yeah so I'm going to be down at the Wild Food Festival. Nice. On Saturday, doing a couple of demos down there. Cool. And, uh, yeah, I wanna, I'm going to bring some uh, hoo-hoo gloves yeah, back yeah, for yeah, uh, now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, So i got the Serrano chilies in there, and I'm going to put the Chipotle chilies in there. So that's going to give us a nice sort of smoky flavour, you know. So we've got nice sort of smoky flavours and deep flavours in here. It's not going to be that spicy. Okay, cool. You know? It's a bit fumey, but I think that's that paprika and the chilies combining. It's actually quite nice. Yeah, no, no, <laughs> no, it's good. Just keep going with it. A yep. uh, little bit of um, cumin there. Keep going, he says. <laughs> just talk and, talk and work at the same time, mate. <laughs> just, just stir, Mike, just stir. <laughs> just stir. Right, some tomato paste goes in there as well. Yeah. Right. And then you want to just toast that as, you know, toast that before we put any liquids in there and just brings out that extra flavour of the uh, tomato. Oh, yeah, it's so it's smell a, a it nice very fragrant again. Yep. Nice. All right, so once that's toasted, a little bit of brown sugar. So we're bringing some sweetness in there. You know, so that's going to counteract the chilies, make it a little bit softer. And then we've got some red wine vinegar, which is going to bring yeah. some of the heat out of the chilies as well. And you get that whole sort of sweet and sour balance. Ah, so that nice. just deglazes in there. Once this all that comes together, I'm going to put a little bit of orange in there. Yep. All the smells of this look the same. It's quite that's weird it. pouring sugar into a mixture like this, but you're right, sweet and sour, isn't it? Yeah, 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 because yeah, you're balancing off that uh, vinegar. Okay. So we're just going to bring that up to the boil, and then I've just got some water in here. We'll pop that in, bring it up to the boil, maybe simmer it for about 10 minutes to get all those flavours together, and then you want to blend it and let it cool down. Okay, nice. So once you've done that and you yes. blend it, it ends up like this. Ta da! Ah, so, you, so you end okay. up with this like, nice loose sort of marinade. Get your pork fillet, we'll just trim it if there's any sinew or fat on there, pop it in, and we are going to put it in the fridge for about four hours overnight if you really want that extra flavour. Okay. You know, so you still need time to marinate it. All oh, right, so you saw, okay, sweet, okay. And then, so it's come out of the fridge, it's marinated, we're going to tip the excess into a pan. Yep. You know, leave about that much on there, and it's going to go in a hot oven about 180 degrees. 
for about seven, eight minutes. You want to knock it down to about 160 for another sort of seven, eight minutes cooking. Hopefully yeah. it should be cooked there. Just give it a nice prod and then let it rest for about 10 minutes and it should come out with a nice blush of pink Excellent. and nice and juicy. And we're going to reduce this down at the same time, so that's going to be a nice glaze. Okay. Whereabouts are we at? Right, so we're going to make some salad yes. for the uh, inside of the tacos. So I'm just going to shred up some uh, cabbage. Nice. Sure you don't want me to do that, because I've been quite good at shredding recently. <laughs> yeah. There's deafening silence in the studio <laughs> with that one. Okay, right. Right, so you've got cabbage in there. Yeah. So I've got a little bit of uh, white wine vinegar. Nice. So that just goes on there. If you yep. give it a season, good season with salt and pepper, okay. and then just start massaging it. Okay, cool. And you'll just uh, you'll just sort of cook it down. You'll you'll break it down. You'll soften it. It'll still have a nice fresh sort of crunch in it, but it will sort of um, break down the cabbage, which will be really good. Right. And then. Once we've uh, done that, we're just going to do some little strips of carrot, which is going to go in the salad. It's hygiene first here at the cafe. It's all about the hygiene. So just, what, just mess up, just yeah, toss yeah, it. Yeah, 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 give it a massage. Okay, this is weird. <laughs> <laughs> Cabbage is in for a good Friday, isn't it? <laughs> Getting a massage, Friday afternoon. Oh, you feel good? Yeah. And then we've got some nice, we've got a little heart of a sort of a baby gem lettuce here. So Ooh, just sort of nice, nice chunks of that. Corn as well. There's lots of fresh corn now in the supermarkets, or you know, you can grow it yourself. It comes out of the garden. Uh, really cheap at the moment, but beautiful. Just peel it. Just make sure you get all these little hairs off as well. And then all you want to do, sharp knife down the side, and then just cut all your little kernels off. And this is beautiful in a salad, and it's so good to eat raw. And if you just, you know, just try, I can eat this all day, but if you try that. Yeah, I'm the same with corn, it's I love it. Eh? It's so good, and, and you know, that is why they call it sweet mm. corn. It's, just, it's so sweet and yummy. And juicy, it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Right, you, you finished playing around with the cabbage? Yeah, I think, well, no, it's gonna have to buy an extra half an hour if I keep going there, <laughs> so I think it's done. So Have a massage. We'll pick a little bit of coriander as well, and then we'll just pop everything in there. Jeez, I love the look of that, it looks so good. I mean, this is great. You could just, you could just do this, as a, you know, just as a sort of a weeknight salad, yeah. you know. Lots of texture in there, lots of fresh ingredients, and really cheap when it's all in season. Well, it's and, you and, you know, and uh, people underutilise cabbage a lot too, so thanks for showing us a way to, you know, make it look and taste fantastic. A little bit of radish as well, which you can just slice and put in, you know, just to add to the colours. You know, this gives it a nice sort of like peppery fireiness as well. And a great texture too. Beautiful, right. And then it. we're just going to make some um, guacamole. Cool. So, avocado. Grab it in your hands, cut it into the stone, because you've got a stone, twist the avocado around your knife, and then you can just pull apart. Heel of your knife, jam it in, twist, and then Done. it just comes out. Look there you that. go. You can um, scoop that out, and yep. then you can start mashing it. Okay. And then all we're gonna do, once that's mashed, got some fresh lime we're gonna juice in there. Mm -hmm. We've got some more coriander. I'm just gonna chop a little bit of spring onion. And, you know, we need to get some more chilies in here. Geez, you picked a good avocado. Yeah, it's great, isn't it? That was, yeah. a that was lucky, wasn't it? Because <laughs> <laughs> it is potluck when you're doing the avocado dance at the supermarket, Well, isn't what it? you want to do is, you, you, you know, you want to feel your avocado, you know? It needs to give a little bit of a give. If it gives too much and you sort of, you know, you put a bit of pressure on it, it just squashes it, you know it's going to be over, right? <laughs> yeah. It, you know, if you squeeze it and it, you know, it feels like a, a block of concrete, it's just going to eat like a block of concrete, you know? You can have no flavour and it's going to be too hard. Well, no, because well, that's the problem at the supermarket, is that sometimes I'm like, oh, everyone else has had a good squeeze of this avocado. It's probably all bruised now. So <laughs> I always go for the ones that are about three deep, three deep in oh, the you're, box. You're the guy in the uh, supermarket, like, pulling them all out. Yes, <laughs> they're all over the place. When I get my salads as well, I go right to the back. <laughs> I'm like, oh, yeah, best before date, best before date. The guys at the supermarket look at me as if you're going, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm looking. That's what I'm <laughs> doing. I'm looking for the freshest one. Foraging. Right, cool. There you go. So squeeze your lime in there. I'm not a very good mash, am I? No. I might get you to take <laughs> over this. All right, I'll mash that. I'm you just going to add that. all these ingredients yep. in there. And then we've got the green chilli as well for some extra uh, kick. Oh, these smell incredible. Well done. Can't wait to tuck into them.